Hey guys, Zach here, and today we're going over my Season 1 builds of Bunny. As we all know, Bunny is the best farming character in the game, and it's not even close. There are other characters that you might have more fun with, like your Viesa, Balbi, Freyna, Ajax, Clay, Blair, or even, and I still can't believe how much I liked him, Eugen. Now, before people get mad in the comments, Bunny is fun, but not this is the only character I'll ever need or want to play fun. She fits her niche extremely well, and I don't see her ever getting a nerf because that is what this character is for, killing ads passively better than anyone else. That is the role she is meant to fill. There has to be a farming character in the game, and Bunny is that character. If someone is mad about Bunny, let them be mad and solo queue their way to mediocre clear times. But if you want to run fast, clear entire instances by yourself, and have half of Reddit mad at you while the other half cheers you on for faster clear times, then Bunny might be the perfect character for you. Let's get into it. If you ever wanted to Naruto run down entire fields of enemies while only using an MMO mouse because your other hand is busy uh, opening Red Bulls, perfect misdirection, no notes, then this Bunny build is for you. Max range, max crit, and almost max damage Coupled with mana regen from MP Collector and Maximize Conservation, you don't even need high voltage to make this build work. It would be better with it, but it's not needed, let's be honest. You'll be blasting enemies before you even round the corner. Rooms will be cleared before your teammates can catch up. There is no calm before the storm that is Bunny, because you never slow down long enough for there to be one. Couple this build with a Slayer set, an electric singular reactor with substats of skill critical hit rate and singular skill ratio, and you're good to go. Honestly, there's not a lot to say about this build. I was literally farming weapon XP while typing this by setting jump on my mouse wheel. If you need to catch up on rings of power, then go hang out in a cave like Gollum. If you're having survivability issues, swap out focus on singular or front lines for a HP mod but you shouldn't be getting hit if you're non-stop sprinting and keeping your 3 up. Here is the budget build to get you started. Have fun and ignore your in-game chat. Haters gonna hate. Quick note about building in general. This build shown is for maximizing damage and runtime. If you're running with a group or you need to change anything to fit your playstyle, that is completely okay. You shouldn't follow any other person's build to a T. Play around with things yourself and change whatever you need to to fit your playstyle. If you want more damage, swap to Dangerous Ambush. If you don't need as much range, pop on Amplification Control for less range and more shields, or Spear and Shield for more damage and some defense. The best part about this game is there is no 100% answer to how it is to be played and built. Have fun with it, try things out. But if you're just looking for the fastest way to clear out dungeons, then this is definitely my favorite way to do that on Bunny. Second side note for mobbing, and this is the last one, I promise. Go build King's Guard Lance. Like, wow, is that thing fun and good and just fills the one glaring gap in Bunny's build? Where other characters can set up their abilities to kill mobs in different areas while focusing on another, with King's Guard Lance, you're able to quickly throw down up to three turrets that can either slow with chill damage or put on a dot with fire or toxic. It doesn't completely change the game for Bunny, it does just add a little quality of life to her already amazing kit. Take advantage of the increased weapon XP this week and invest into this gun. It will make mobbing on any ability character that much better. Now, before we get into bossing, there's a little note about this. Bunny, for now, is not a good bossing character. I know, that's not what anyone wants to hear but she just doesn't have a good fit currently. That's not to say it won't change, but let's go over what we know. She's extremely good at killing ads, which is great when there are ads, but for gluttony, you're better off bringing any other character who focuses on weapons. That might change with the new boss coming out. They might add more ads or some damage mechanic that she will excel at, like with Obstructor. But if the design stays the same, like with gluttony, she just doesn't bring enough to the table to be worth it. That being said, let's go over what she can do. 
Bunny is not worthless on Gluttony. She absolutely has a role she can fill. She can run around clearing ads and passively damaging the boss while debuffing him with her three, which is nothing to scoff at, but it's just not great with Gluttony's resistances. She's also the best at getting to where she needs to be. Did a teammate go down? She can get there quickly and res them. Is one of the shoulders ready to be grabbed? She can close the gap and jump straight on it. Do you need a better angle to bust the purple orb? She's on it. She's not useless, but these are all things that other characters can also do. We went with two HP mods to stay alive from stray damage with max range so that the three can hit the boss and adds without having to be too close. Anti-freeze solution so that you won't be getting frozen on the shoulder from random blue orbs looking at you, Valby. With this build, you can absolutely do gluttony and not be a burden, but she would not be my first pick when queuing up. Run this build with Slayer set and an electric singular reactor with skill damage to Colossus with either skill critical hit rate or singular damage ratio. Now, if you are talking about any of the other bosses, she can absolutely hang. This is the max damage build to bring if you want to spin around Devour and not shoot a gun. I would suggest swapping Strong Mentality for an HP mod if you want to do team fights, but that's just me. This will do a ton of damage while you mindlessly circle the boss like a shark. Remember, weapons are for people who can't win a fight with their presence alone. Bunny is really great at her specific role, but until they bring in bosses that have a higher ad presence, I don't see a ton of use for her. If you're doing any boss fights with those stupid spinners like Pyromaniac, then Bunny is your saving grace. Seriously, those things suck. Run this build with Slayer set and an electric singular reactor with skill damage to Colossus with either skill critical hit rate or singular damage ratio. That's going to be it for the video. If you made it this far, consider leaving a like or subbing for more content. I'm on Twitch at Zach vs. Everything. Come hang out while I make new builds and try stuff out. Let me know in the comments if you run a different build or have something I didn't mention. If it's drastically better, I'll make another video and credit you. I'm going to let the rest of this fight play out because you need a ton of watch time to monetize. Hope you have a great rest of your day. Peace.